Hi, Max here. In this intermediate video, we'll take a look at external events, external layouts, and global objects, and how they can improve your workflow. So let's say you just finished the first level of your new game and you're ready to make the next one. How do you proceed? Your first inclination might be to copy paste all of your objects into a new scene and start building at your level. But in fact, there is a much, much better solution. And that is to use external layouts, external events, and global objects. These tools allow you to detach certain events, objects, and layouts so that you can use them across multiple scenes without having to edit them in two different places. This will save you so much time as a game creator because you'll no longer have to, for example, change the UI layout, change the objects, change the events for every single one of your scenes. You can simply do it once and it'll affect everything, no copy pasting required. Sounds awesome? Well, then let's take a look at how to do this. We'll start with this example from earlier. Once again, we've made one level and we wanna make more. However, when we make a new scene, well, none of the objects we've made are available to us. One solution is global objects. We can convert an object to a global one by opening its menu and selecting the set as a global object option. Now GDevelop will warn us that this action is irreversible, and this is true. So it's a good idea to make a save of your project before making anything into a global object. Once we hit OK, we'll find that our object's text has turned bold and italic to signify that it is now global. Sure enough, when we go to our new scene, we now find our object in our list. We can then repeat this process for every object we want to share between our scenes, and then start building out our level. Playing our game, we'll find that while our level might look nice, nothing actually works. And this is because, well, our event sheet is empty. Once again, we could copy paste everything from our first level into our second one, but then we'd have the same events in two different places, which we'd like to prevent. So instead, we can use external events. We can find our external events in the project manager and under the external events tab. There we can click to add a new event sheet and we'll rename it in this case to level events. Next, we'll be asked to link our event sheet to a scene. So we'll choose one of our levels. Then we'll simply bring over all the events from our first level into our new external level event sheet. Then we can reference an external event sheet by clicking the plus icon in the top right and selecting link external events. This will give us a new item in our list that we can use to refer to our level events sheet. By the way, now that you know how to use external events, it might be very tempting to overuse them. In fact, a lot of the time, especially when you have a smaller amount of events that needs to be used relatively frequently, it might be better to think about using functions or behaviors. Definitely check out our videos on those if you haven't already. At any rate, our game is now functioning. You might notice though that our score and health is missing from the top right. This is because we forgot to include it in our second level. We could copy paste it over from our first level, but well, maybe you're sensing a pattern here. We can instead use external layouts. External layouts are located right under external events. And we can add a new one much in the same way as with external events. In this case, we'll name this layout UI and attach it to our first level. Then we can bring over our health and score display over to our new UI external layout. And then we'll use the create objects from the external layout action to dynamically load the user interface when the scene starts. Now our UI is loaded and working as intended. And we can now edit it in one place and have it update in both levels. Very nice. Now there's one last use case for external layouts that's kind of important. And this is a different approach to having multiple levels in our game. You see, with our current approach, while we only have to edit our events or objects once, if we wanted to edit, for example, layers or scene properties, well, we'd have to do that still for every single one of our levels. Thus, in some cases, it makes sense to actually build our levels as external layouts and then load them in dynamically later on. Keep in mind that with this approach, you're gonna have to manage scene transitions on your own. Generally, this will be done with like a global variable that can be either the number of your level or the name of your next level, such as in this example here. 
So this has been external layouts, events, and global objects. I hope this video has been of help to you. And as per usual, let us know your feedback in the comments. All right, I'll see you in the next one.